Welcome. Today we'll be making turkey and waffles with spicy cranberry syrup. I'm Chef Jim, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. Okay, so we're gonna start by making our stuffing. I've brought some water to a simmer, and we're gonna add to that some butter. Once the butter's melted, we'll add our stuffing mix. We're using a cornbread stuffing, but any leftover holiday stuffing will work just fine. Once you combine the stuffing mix with the butter mixture, we're gonna cover the pot, let it cool off, and then we'll throw it in the fridge to cool. I'm gonna get some other ingredients and we'll be right back. Okay, so now let's make our spicy cranberry syrup and our turkey and gravy that's gonna go on top of our waffles. We'll start with the cranberry syrup. We're using a fresh Fresno chili in this, and we've got one here that's all diced up, so we're gonna add that to our pot with our canned cranberries, or if you have some leftover cranberries from your holiday meal, perfect to use them right here. A little bit of fresh garlic paste available in our produce department at Publix. Some maple syrup. And some salt and pepper. We're going to combine that with a little bit of water and bring that up to a simmer. We're fishing with a couple of hot sauces here. We've got a sriracha hot sauce, which is an Asian style fermented chili sauce, and a real little traditional hot sauce here. Simmer this until it's thickened and it's ready to go. For our turkey and gravy, we're gonna add our shredded turkey meat. And if you have some leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, perfect time to use it. And a little bit of jarred gravy, or if you have some leftover, here you go. Stir to combine. And we're just gonna heat that up. So I'm gonna turn down the heat on our cranberry syrup, let it thicken and cook, and I'll go get the ingredients for our waffles, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's time to make our waffles. Here's our stuffing that we cooled off, and to that we're gonna add a little bit of leftover mashed potatoes. This is gonna give us a little texture and a little flavor. While I'm combining this, I have my waffle iron heating up, and I've also sprayed it with a little non-stick spray. Once the potatoes and the stuffing is combined, we're gonna make two patties. So I'll divide this in half and I'll set them right here on my sheet tray. We're then gonna flatten these out a little and place right into the waffle iron. Now we want these to crisp up and brown a little, so we'll go ahead and let them cook for nine to 10 minutes. Okay, our waffles are ready and they look awesome. Let's plate up our dish and give it a try. First, we're gonna cut our waffles into quarters. And then we'll top it with a little bit of our turkey and gravy mixture. and then some of our spicy cranberry syrup. I just like to drizzle that around the edge. Then we're gonna garnish with some fresh chives. Now for my favorite part, let's give it a try. Oh my, is that delicious. I love the sweet spiciness of that cranberry sauce. Just perfect. That's like having your holiday meal all over again. Wow. So that's how you turn your Thanksgiving leftovers 
into a tasty breakfast. Click the link below for the full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Enjoy!